this is uh, going to be part two of uh, my mods to the RC Lander all metal 100 degree retracts for the uh, Hellcat, the Dynam Hellcat. Uh, if, uh, as you may have heard, uh, Max at uh, uh, parkrcmodels.com is uh, swapping out the original struts for uh, A10 struts, which are the are the correct length, uh, if you call them and ask him, uh, no charge. So uh, if you're going that route, uh, most of the rest of this won't really apply to you. Uh, but we'll go ahead and finish the ex the my my method of extending these struts. And uh, before uh, before we do, uh, there's one thing that. Uh, that we'll talk about that would apply that may apply to you anyway. That is, uh, I found that the springs in the stock struts are, uh, in my opinion, too stiff. And I've already changed out the springs in both of my struts, so I'm not going to actually do this, but it's a very simple process. And that would be to simply. Uh, Take a little pressure off of the strut in your fingers like this. Remove this Phillips head screw. Take it apart. Remove the spring. Uh, find another appropriate softer spring. Uh, in my case, I actually used something about like this. And it was too long, so I cut it off. And the only uh, thing to, to, uh, to be aware of is that... Um, when you put it back together again, put the end you cut off in the strut first so that you got this nice flat end for to go against the strut. Uh, now it just occurred to me that if you are doing what I'm doing and you're going to drill these out, you're going to want to take the take this strut apart. So actually I will go ahead and do it since I'm going to drill this out and I don't want I don't want all those chips getting inside there, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And remove the, simply remove that screw there, and I'll put that aside so I don't lose it. And take it apart. There's the spring. You can see I put, I had the cut end in, the flat out, the flat end out, so it sits nice and nice and firmly on that and doesn't bind. Uh, if, so if we're going to drill this out, the other thing is you want to remove these two grub screws. And we're, I'm also going to drill the axle out. This is a 2 millimeter axle. I'm going to go to 3 millimeter, And so I'm going to remove these grub screws in the axle. And I'm actually going to use, wherever it is, uh, here we go. I'm actually going to use the three millimeter strut rod that came with this for my axle, but I got to drill it out to three millimeters first. Okay, so come back here in a second. We'll do some uh, drilling. We're going to drill the trunnion to four millimeter, the little rotating lever to four millimeter, the end of the strut to four millimeter, and the axle hole to three millimeter. So we'll come back here in a minute. <clears throat> okay. Uh, First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to drill these the bottom end of this bottom end of the strut out for a three millimeter axle instead of the two and a half millimeter axle. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I remove these grub screws. Take those out. Okay, I'm going to mount this in my little soft face vise. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to do this incrementally since I don't have a drill press so uh, that I can uh, if we go in increments we can stay centered and not get alignment. <laughs> That's the first step. That was uh, number 37 drill, and I'm going every other size. Uh, 
Okay, last drill. Okay, and that's a uh, number 31 drill. And now my little, uh, my little axle should fit. This is again the uh, the three millimeter strut that was in this unit to start with. Perfect fit. Okay, so that's done. Next thing, we've got three parts to drill out. We're going to do them incremental, incrementally, and I won't uh, bother you with uh, with every single step here. But we'll start with the first drill, and that is uh, number 29 that I'm going to start with. Slipping in my vice. That's that. The trunnion. Again, in the clamp it in my soft face vise so I don't mar it. Now, do you want to point out that uh, you need to check and see if there's a grub screw in there. It's not really used on this rotating unit, but in fact, there's one in here on mine. So you want to take that out. Okay, that one, and then of course, where are you? There we go, over here. The little rotating, the little rotating arm. Same thing. Get it in here, good. Okay. So I'm going to repeat repeat that process with uh, with these three parts. Three more times and end up uh, with a number 21 drill, which should fit my four millimeter strut. Okay, we'll come back when that's done. Okay, I've completed drilling out my my strut, my trunnion, and my rotating lever for my four millimeter rod. Nice, nice, good fit. Nice, tight fit. And yeah, okay. Next thing I'm going to do is, and you can do this differently. Uh, on the other one I did, I actually heated this up and forged a little, uh, a little uh, collar on the end of here. Uh, another option would be to use a saw and cut a slot for for a, uh, a C clip, which I don't happen to have, but I do have a I do have a torch and, like uh, that. Basically, I'm going to I'm going to clamp in my vise and just leave a little bit sticking out, and I'm going to heat that up, uh, heat it up red, and then use a hammer and peen it over a bit, and do that a few times until I have a nice little uh, nice little ledge on there, and then I will clean it up with a file as necessary so it so it turns nicely in the trunnion, and I won't bore you with that the details on that. But uh, so I'll do that, and we'll come back and put this all all back together and install it in the plane. Bye. Okay, I finished making my extended strut. I forged a little knob on the end there. I cleaned it up with a file. Now it slides right in here. Turns really nice. So all we need is a little knob to keep it from falling out, and uh, we're ready to put it back together again. Uh, so I'm going to put my strut in and I'm going to slip my 
strut through my little steering arm here. And put it. Get that ready. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and assemble my, my oleo. I'm going to take a little... Uh, I like to use a little silicone grease. Get a little of that on there. I'm going to insert my spring cut in, in first. And then I'm going to lube this up. Put a little lube on here. Slide that in there, make sure it moves nice. Okay. Get my, my little pin, and I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on it. Just a touch. Press that thing, line up the hole, drop that sucker in there. Carefully put it in there, don't cross thread it. Run it in tight, boom. Make sure you don't have any Loctite in there, we're good. Okay, so that's ready to go together. Uh, as you can see, Original three millimeter strut I'm gonna use for an axle. We're all set there. Just gotta put the grub screws in. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take take the retract unit. I'm actually gonna use a little of this grease on the threaded screw. Not too much, just a little bit. I'm also gonna put a little bit on the gears there, just a little. And then let's put this thing together. So, I'm going to slip the trunnion in on the crossbar there. I'm going to bring my side piece over. Get this all lined up. Line up the hole there in the side. those screws in. So I need my three screw, little tiny screws, which are somewhere in this box here. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Okay, now I'm going to put my other side plate on here. Actually, I'm going to add just a touch of grease right here. Oops, forgot something though. Uh, 
this little pin right here in this corner. Just like that. Now we'll put our side plate on. There we go. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the grub screws back in here. I want to make sure that uh, my strut's turning free. And we have just a little bit of clearance so it doesn't bind up. And let's see here. Grub screw and grub screw. And just a touch of Loctite. simple to disassemble and reassemble except for the little tiny screws and the only key thing is don't forget that little pin in the corner and don't lose it when you take it apart okay let's mount it in the in the plane and then we'll uh, finish assembling it okay uh, for most of you guys you're gonna mount this thing uh, with the uh, with the RC lander holes lining up with the the forward stock holes and then screw down in the back here I'm actually because of the way I mounted the first one I'm actually gonna mount it in the same spot which is like this right in between the original screws and uh, so I'm going to simply drill uh, some pilot holes some small pilot holes here for the screws first then put in the uh, use the original mounting screws and that pretty much is that okay so uh, I've completed uh, mounting this retract in my new mount uh, I did want to point out uh, one thing that I don't think I mentioned earlier and that is that uh, right here on the back side of this uh, this little pivot screw uh, I needed to use a drill drill bit and cut a slight relief uh, for clearance of the head of that screw so that this uh, so it sits flush on the mounting plate so uh, as you can see uh, it works well uh, the other thing was uh, I wanted to point out uh, if you recall I pulled a servo extension out with the old unit and when I went to put this in I connected this new retract to the servo extension and use that as a way to easily fish the wire back through the wing into the fuselage that may, makes a makes that job a lot easier so anyway uh, as you can see it works quite well and the next thing to do is install uh, the strut and adjust the length and then the final thing will be to uh, <coughs> to add our gear door and uh, I've already started that by uh, I filled the stock holes with uh, five minute epoxy and uh, then when, once we get the strut in place uh, I'll measure for the holes and drill some holes and screw it onto the holes that are in the existing strut okay okay uh, <clears throat> I'm ready to assemble my strut and uh, I've uh, temporarily installed uh, the axle, which I will cut to length later on, <clears throat> but uh, it'll help line things up. And to extend this, I'm using this uh, nice little sle uh, threaded sleeve that I found at my local hardware store that's just about the right length. So I'm simply going to slide that on there. 
and I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to temporarily add a, install one of the grub screws and check for my length and alignment and uh, once we get it where we like it then we'll uh, Loctite everything down and uh, install the wheel and then we'll go on to adding the gear door okay Okay, now that I'm in the retracted position, as you can see, it looks like I got the alignment pretty right on there, just about, about dead center in the center of the the wheel well there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, <coughs> uh, cut my axle length, install my tire, uh, double check the alignment, and then we'll lock it all down with Loctite. Okay, so uh, I've got my wheel uh, on, my axle trimmed to length. Uh, Loctited the grub screws in on the end of the strut for the axle and I'm happy with the alignment here so I'm going to uh, go ahead and install the second grub screw on the strut Loctite that one and then there's only uh, let's see three things left to do uh, one is to uh, the first thing would be to finish the door cover and uh, I've simply taken the uh, the stock door cover and I filled the the original screw holes with epoxy and now I've got a little uh, <coughs> a little lightweight filler on them. I'm going to take uh, a Dremel tool on the back side here, my little Dremel drum drum sander attachment, and I'm gonna. Uh, do a little sanding here at those mounting points uh, till it fits on the, around the strut nice get it where I want it uh, then finally I will drill it for I will measure carefully and this you'll have to be careful here but I'll measure it carefully for these two two millimeter screws that are in the strut and I'm going to attach them with a couple of, of two millimeter uh, hex screw hex head screws and washers one of them uh, one of them is four millimeters and the other one is six millimeters anyway so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get working on that okay so I've completed the uh, final installation of the RC lander all metal 100 degree rotating retracts <clears throat> I finished my uh, my doors here uh, only note, only interesting thing of note there is you definitely want to make sure that uh, uh, particularly this screw doesn't go in too far so that it binds on the strut and you're definitely going to want to use some Loctite on both of those so they don't fall out. <coughs> uh, last two things to do. First one is to uh, <coughs> uh, recheck the center of gravity. Uh, with the gear up and the uh, last thing to do go fly it hope to do that in the morning okay thanks guys